What's up, Guam? I'm Dave Delgado. Welcome to KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. Tonight on the show, we'll take a look at some girls' high school soccer championship footage from the GFA field in Harmon. I have some women's tackle football along with some GHRA basketball from the Timunning Gym. Check it out. The Southern High Dolphins and Notre Dame Royals met up in the IAAG girls' high school soccer title game. Southern entered the game as defending champions looking to repeat Behind two-time MVP player Paige Serber, the Dolphins kept the pressure on Endy's keeper with several shots on goal. Southern struck first off an inbound by Paige Serber, who found an opening in the defense after a Royal player looked to kick the ball out of traffic. Serber dribbled the ball once and took the shot, getting the ball to go past the keeper for the first score of the match, 19 minutes into the contest. The Dolphins didn't let up, feeding off the momentum and would later get another shot to go for a score thanks to Braille Menno, who was assisted by Tiana Sakaba. Notre Dame's Demi Ray Shimizu would score the long goal for the Royals in the 55th minute off a penalty kick that ended the game 2-1 in favor of the Dolphins, who take home this year's trophy for the second consecutive year. In the Bud Light Guam Women's Tackle Football League, the Island Stunners took care of business against the Lady Spartans 46-0 to advance to the semifinals. The Stunners went to the air, moving the ball at will, building a huge lead by the time the whistle blew for halftime. With the win, the Stunners will now play Sindalu for a chance to go to the championship game. Sindalu beat the Lady Raiders 30-6 to move on. In the other semifinal game, Team Legacy will face the Steel Blazers after Legacy earned the huge 72-0 win over the Iron Maidens, while the Steel Blazers barely got by the Rough Riders 21-20. Now for some GHRA basketball from the Timunning Gym. Mobile taking on ANZ Bank. Dan Cabinting with the 3 for ANZ. Mobile trying to take the ball inside, almost turning the ball over. Alfred Pineda comes up with it and gets the jumper inside the paint to fall for two points. Ryan Tovez with the pass up court to Cobbenting, who gives it up to Adrell de Guzman baseline for the easy bucket. Mobile gassed up, pushing the ball on the break. Carl Banal going hard to the basket for the shot off glass. ANZ's Ryan Tovez trailing Den Cobbenting. Cobbenting dishes the ball off to Tovez, who hits the shot off the window for two points and the foul. In the end, Mobile would hold on for the win, 59 to 40. Dwayne Denau with the putback here for Mobile. Well, that's going to do it for sports. We're back right after this.